the sidelines. I think there's like four or five penalties there on the sideline. Is that just something you got to be cognizant of, or do they do a lot of crews call it differently? It's actually it's actually been consistent against us this year. I mean, you go back and look at the pass interferences we've had. It's it's down the sideline. It's fade balls, and it's it could be called either way. Those are not. Some of them have been pass interferences. I don't believe all of them have been pass interference. But the people that are making those judgment calls right now are new to our league because the, the squads are, are put together a little bit differently. And right or wrong, I, I, they are calling it consistent. So it's up to us to make sure we play, uh, play that differently maybe than what we're playing it right now because we're, we're hand checking and doing that type of stuff and we're getting called for it. Other years we have not been called for it. So those calls are 50-50, could go either way based off the experience of the officials. And right now the experience of our officials says that we better keep our hands off. But what about, uh, I think too, Jim was alluding to the, the sideline flag they called on South Dakota State, an official ran into somebody, and then I think our sideline got flagged for mm -hmm. some, what, that's the first time I'd ever seen somebody actually get penalized for that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was interesting. And, uh, you know, we had that guy on our sideline the first half, and, and he, was war he warned us. Uh, and they went to the other side in the other half, and they actually ran into him on that side. So, you know, it is what it is. You got to – I don't even worry, but there's no even sense arguing with officials anymore. It's just it is what it is. They're part of the game, and you make sure that you play within that element. And, and right now, that's where we have to do a better job of play within that element because – we're still pressing that envelope, and we we need we can still cover. We just can't do it in quite as aggressively as we're doing it right now. So, yeah, the sideline thing that was interesting is the best word I could say for it. But it was fortunate for us. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it helped us, and I'm sure he's saying the same thing. That was very interesting that they got called for. But you know, if you do run into official, that's a point blank one. That's easy. But uh, it's it's the other ones that you kind of say, you know. What what did we actually do to ca cause that penalty? In, in in college, there's no such thing as an uncatchable ball. They can fly even if the ball's ten yards over the receiver's head. If there's contact, you can have pass interference. Yeah, I've I've had a hundred coaches say it's uncatchable, and a hundred people. I, I think I think every referee thinks every ball is catchable. So <laughs> again, play with play with that in mind, and and they're going to call it the way they see it, and that's as as long as they're consistent. Then you can't complain, and uh, you know it's it's I can't. It has been consistent. It hasn't been consistent in the way it, in my in our favor, but it has been consistent. So then it's up to us to make our adjustment. Anybody else? All right. Thanks.